someone told me, and you can confirm whether this is, is true or not, that you were partly the inspiration behind the Hillsong song, The Creed, which is the uh, the, the kind of the Christian doctrines, the beliefs, the Orthodox Christian beliefs uh, set to music. And it's been fantastically successful. Is that true? I, I had nothing to do with the actual writing of it. So it comes with no royalty. <laughs> But yes, I am the reason they wrote it, because I tweeted saying Hillsong would be doing world Christianity a favor if they put the most shared statement of Christian belief in one of their beautiful songs. Someone tweeted straight back from uh, the Hillsong creative team and said, we'll have a think about it. <laughs> and uh, then I got a phone call from them. <clears throat> and they said, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to give it a go. Fantastic. And would you be willing to, you know, when we've got a demo, come and have a listen. And so I did. They took me out to breakfast and I met the, the songwriters and the creative team. And they played me a demo of the song and said, what do you reckon? And I thought, it's actually really good. It is. It's <laughs> so a great song. I wish I could lay some... <laughs> you know claim to the creativity behind it but that is hey, but all it's them it's kind of nice you know the the rock musician has a second you know uh, aim at aim at stardom through hillsong well yeah. the rock musician now nerd <laughs> you know I, I love it but that that song you know has been played in, in countless churches we play it in our church and um what i love about it as i'm sure you do is is the fact it is words that go back to the very beginning mm. uh, of the christian faith but done in this tremendous contemporary way um it's a great it's a great statement yeah. about the christians do have some things they share because you hear yeah. a, from mm. a lot of skeptical people you guys can't even work out what you mm. believe yeah, yeah. come back to me when you can agree <laughs> on something well here is 83 words in the original greek mm. 83 words christians say yep we believe this yeah. that's something yeah absolutely um and in a sense kind of takes you back to the fact that from the beginning Christians have been singing their truth mm -hmm. uh, if you like and I think actually the way we imbibe a lot of scripture and doctrinal truth is through singing and maybe that's kind of faded away a bit in more recent kind of the you know charismatic songs that have been a bit more Jesus is my boyfriend as they say uh, and haven't contained as much of that kind of core truth and and stuff and maybe we're kind of moving back to kind of embracing more of that again now? I think we are, and I think it's a beautiful thing. I mean, the evidence we have from the New Testament period is that Christians sang psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. And we have a couple of examples of the songs in the New Testament embedded mm. there. Mm. Um, very probably Colossians 1 and Philippians 2 contain yeah. early hymns. Not in the classic style we'd recognize, but certainly in the um, chanting style. And um, one, one of the documents I played with up in Oxford um, in my research is the, the earliest fragment we have mm. of, a, of a hymn, a Christian hymn, with musical notation. Mm. It's from about the year 200. But, it, I mean, there were plenty of other hymns, but mm. this is the first hymn that actually has the ancient musical yeah. notation mm. on it. I intend to do something with it, by the way. Mm. Um, and it's obviously in Greek, uh, but it's incredibly theological. Yeah. And very trinitarian right already by you know the year 200 it's mm. very trinitarian mm. in its outlook so yeah singing's a crucial yeah. part of uh, christian engagement with the public yeah and um personal devotion and it strikes me hillsong is one of the you know the most well-known contemporary christian songwriters these days their songs are sung in churches all over the world and have been for a few decades now um that they they are it, it's interesting to see that they really have in my view, developed a lot of good, strong theology and biblical content in a lot of their most recent stuff. Do you think that, that they're sort of seeing that now? As, I, know as kind it, of, I know it for a fact. Yeah, yeah I've, I've become quite friendly with a lot of those yeah. people. And they are really into theology. Mm. They're reading John Stott. They're reading Packer, James Packer. They're reading Tom Wright. They're reading Tim Keller. You know, mm. it's like uh, they're, they're really excited about grounded theology connected with something really old yeah, yeah. and it is showing they've employed a guy called robert ferguson who's the, like the theologian in charge of the songwriting so all songs um go through ferguson right. for sort of review and he's got a really good eye to um to theology but the great thing is they <clears throat> they don't seem to um worry about taking risks with poetry mm, mm. you know sometimes people from my more conservative tradition mm. are so concerned about the truth mm. we uh, don't let poetry get in the way right <laughs> <laughs> but actually uh you just have to read the psalms yeah to realize actually you can press the borders of theology yeah yeah to evoke something that's mm. real mm. uh with good poetry 
Yeah. And I think I think Hillsong are doing yeah. this pretty well. 